born into the dazzling light of day. Go and be wise. You are born upon an earth which needs new eyes. Go and be strong. You are born into a world where love rides wrong. Go and be brave. Possess your soul. Time to call Lynch. <laughs> How you doing, Jimmy? Cliff. Frank. Don, one para. Hey, what's with Alice? You never said you were bringing him. He borrowed my mates on the prelude. That was the last we saw of him. He's a brat. Oh, thanks, lads. Thanks for funding. Short, see? There's a big one up in the estate. Three grand on his head to anybody who's lucky enough to get him. But he's nothing compared to my boy there. I had a mount in Edinburgh in 1945. Can I take orders for dinner? Salmon, jug tea, roast venison? What would you like? Day shift is from nine until three, and uh, nine seven until three, and of course you'll be driven home. I've got two boys at school, so that'd be fine. But my husband's working in Scotland. I'd need someone to show me how to work the. Um... Of course. How about right now? You mean start straight away? Sure, uh, if it's convenient and uh, if the pay is acceptable to you. Yes. Yes. I've got the job then. Hmm. Oh, that's marvellous. Thank you. Some people have all the luck, don't they? Mind you, but it freezes the bollocks off them in the winter, right? Huh? <laughs> Charge, dear Frank. How friendly you are, Malone. Been in civvies four years now. Finding it tough on Civvy Street, are we, Frank? Any aggro from any of you, and you'll be on your way. 
Understand? Malone, have a word. Yeah. You think that's enough? Huh? You sure they can handle it? Dark-haired guy's an ex-sergeant. Joseph's expert. We were in the same regiment. The other four are good, steady soldiers. Yes. Well, this isn't exactly a war, Malone. Want to bet? Malone tells me you're in the same regiment. Yes, sir. Then he quit. Went over to the RMPs. Explosives expert. How long have you been out of the army? Two months, sir. Fifteen years service, sir. There he is. You see him? See the one with the price on his head, sir? Well, it certainly travels fast. I'm a bloody taxidermist in Edinburgh. He's very rare. And with antlers like that, a fair trophy. He's worth much more than 5,000 in stud. These are the big ones, the ones the poachers go for. They put the entire stock last year, more than a quarter of a million pounds worth. Can't afford to lose out this year. How do they do it? Quite simply, hoover them up. Did he say hoover? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got any guard dogs? They were shot. A 2-2 rifle in 87. Bastards used Simus that year. They also took the stock from the other tanks. So we were wiped out, fish and financially. And you're wide open. What about an electric fence? Cost would be astronomical. The one plus, if you can call it a plus, is that these men are professionals. They're dealing in bulk, so they need big trucks both to take the fish away and to freeze it. No, I think Malone's right. The answer has to be manpower. That's why we've got you chats up here. Yes, there he is. Up the ridge. Top. Ah, yes. Fair set of coat hangers, eh? Jimmy, where's the nearest para base to it? This taxi is on a level, is he? We heard he's got three grand on his head. You touch him and I'll mount your head. <laughs> <laughs> Old well, nature boy's a bit touchy about the hat stand, isn't he? <laughs> Pretty sorted first. Anyway, it's not three. It's five. Five? Thousand? <laughs> five? <laughs> oh, you all right? You all right? Yeah? All right, listen. When well, you go to the village, get some stores. There's a list. Oh, there we are. He's a ruddy liability. a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I was wondering when your friends would be back. I really need to talk to them. There's a couple of local boys going to get themselves hurt. This Malone could even kill them. They're going for him tonight. Oh, no. It's not Malone they're after. It's the stag. Uh, he 
you do it. Pull down the contact. That brat Steve come back with a nosh yet, I'm starving. You know what we should do? Entice him down on the low ground. They're like apples. We get them as near the truck as possible. Give ourselves a hernia trying to lift this carcass. And pow. Word of advice, mate. About nobbling that stag. Don's one, passionate over. about Shh. it. Zero to Alpha One, over. Yeah, Frank. Yeah. Yeah, it's real busy. It's that Piccadilly friggin' circus. Look. We've got two kids with a crossbow. Probably looking for a bit of fun with a stag. Sounds like they're after the stag. Shit, he's ours. Alright, I'm on my way. Right, Harry, get up there with Cliff and those kids. I'll check out the pros. Shit, Ed! Hey, hey, don't! Hey, piss off! Hey! Right. Now you back oh. off, Malone! That's enough! Get the bag off his head. Oh. Oh. Said that's enough! Hey, Dylan, you want some, do you? You want some? Hey? How about me and you now? Hey? Me and you? Come on! Don't think. Look at him, he's a madman. He'll kill you. Just back off from him. Just don't, Frank. the bag off the kid's head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, son. Wanker. I've got a job to do, all right? Let's get these boys clean up. Look at their throats. Open your mouth, love. Oh. <coughs> Hurt? Yeah, that's mumps. Better now than later, love. Yeah, they've been here all right. The tire tracks. Fag ends. There was two of them. And not the two kids. They came in a van. They're scrambler bike tracks. All right. Cliff, right side, Don on the left. Check the drains all the way up. Then back the other side. 
What about Steve? What? Well, he was well pissed last night, Frank. We want him off our backs. We're doing all his work for him. I'll talk to him. Why don't you just kick the wanker out? I mean, why should we split our dust? Hey? Okay? Just get on with it, Frank. all right? I just caught that bastard Malone red-handed. That gear I got, the sod's been paid more than a thousand quid for it. And 500 quid for the dogs. If you don't take him... Wait, he... he, he... Just do it, Frank! Or I'll cut his balls off. going down. Ah, it's that bloody wimp Griffiths. He's shitting in his pants. Wants all the weapons in his office. It was those kids reported us to the cops. That was down to you, Malone. Hey, I'm doing my job. You don't like the action? Getting well paid for it, are ya? Bastard owes us a thousand pounds, Frank. I want it back. Come on, I'll give you a word of advice. Get shot him alone. You're a good man, then, young Don. He knows the land, and he's had military training for security. Give him Malone's job, and I'll feel the locals on a permanent basis. Pay him enough so they won't have to poach. Got a lot of unemployment up here, ain't you? Not as easy as you think. Most keepers, you know, have to supplement their wages. So, I give the butcher a few rabbits and he gives me steak, eggs and so on. Sometimes, during the pheasant shooting season, a couple of the uh, protected birds get clobbered. I mount them and sell them off in Edinburgh. Malone bought me a couple of falcons. Said that he'd found them after the shoot. Split the profits. It's illegal. And obviously, I knew to start with, I wasn't simply finding them. Well, I'm in a catch-22 situation. He goes to the landowner and lets me out of a job. And a cottage. So I doubt I'll get him to leave without a hell of a fight. It's one on the cards, sir. You get rid of my loan. And I'll get you a bonus on top of your salary. And Don will take over. Right? Deal. Well, where is she? She's what? She's got a job. You're never here when you want it anyway, and the kids... Mumps? Oh, hold on. Hello? Look, I'm gonna have to go. Just tell... S what? I don't know. Just tell Sue I call, will you? Well, maybe it's a good job. It's catching, isn't it? Look, just tell her I called and... Hello? Can you give me a hand? Been drinking all morning. I'm not sure. Dad's been doing in the bar. I've been in the kitchen. Oh, excuse me. No need to apologise. I must have lost a button.
Come here. Somebody might come up. I think you'd better leave. Please, just leave! Frank. Take it easy. Steve, get your breath. Take it easy. Okay? Right. Now, what's up? be six of them. We've got two scrambling bikes and they'll be armed. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> 
Good double act you two got going. We're all gonna have to have a good act. You be all right with the coppers? Yeah, I'll be all right with the coppers. <laughs> what about Malone? Don't worry about Malone. He's gonna be in there, out of the way. All right, you wanna know what to do? Stay tight. Move out! Malone, get over here. It's started. Hey, Cliff. The coppers are never going to agree to do a swap. They'll go for it. Jimmy can sell ice to the Eskimos. Hey, they're going into Japan now. Looks like they're radioing in. Yes, sir. We just got our cops. We need their rats as well. And get that car in them. Who have I got on the south ridge? Alpha 3. Ah, got it. Right, we've covered the entire area. Okay, I'm all set. Now we're depending on you. These guys are armed, we've got nothing but pickaxe handles. So we keep in radio contact at all times, right? Set. There's a man hidden with a radio up in the hillside. Built a hide. Another one in the woods. The third man's on the waterfront. And the two guys with flight jackets. Okay, let's go for it.
I tell you? Like taking candy. <laughs> Beautiful. Even better than I thought. Shit. What the hell's this? Get your mask off. Guns out of sight. Trouble officer, do you want us to give you a hand? I had a blowout. Might need you both to help haul me out of the ditch. Sure thing. Must be your lucky night. Not yours, mate. to get them to lay down their guns. I want them out, hands on heads. One, two. All right, we're coming out. Cleaned out both tanks, and it's down to you. No weapons, you said, but you've got no friggin' fish now. What is that? Salmon's ready for collection. So the buyers getting their hands wet. Got it all on ice, ready for the weigh -in. That bastard, he set this up. Recognize this, Malo? Only one of us was armed, and you still shit yourself and rain. Guys like you, Dylan, you're being turned out into Civvy Street every day of the week. And all of you are thieving bastards. All right, Malone. In front of witnesses, I want that grand you nicked from us. You want to make it double or quits? And now's the time. Right, Dylan. You've been begging for this. Let's go. Someone has got to stop this. Hey, you want to step between them, then, sir? Leave it out, Malone. I'll make up the money. This has gone far enough. <laughs> Oi, Malone. This place giving you all clear, is it? 
You and your mob drinking, no places. I asked you a question, yeah. pal. Come on, we're wasting valuable drinking time. I checked it out personal, so screw you. Keep still, will you? Oh, you can have a view. Split open like half a tomato, mate. How's your ribs? Just get off me. You make me feel worse. You're terrible. Yeah, how's this to make you feel on top of the world? Two weeks' wages. <laughs> Plus, you won't believe this, his lordship thought you got a beating off the poachers. <laughs> Bonus, one grand. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Plus, Maloney's out. And Don Boy is now the head keeper. Yo! <laughs> what do you say, Frank? We make it a nice round figure. We get him tonight, drive the carcass. Nature Boy's not about. Forget it. Why? Who's to know it was us? Because he's free, Jimmy. Don't let some bastard nail him to a wall. Kill him. <laughs> Rumours are that you and your lads are starting up your own security firm. Yeah, we're thinking about it. Yeah. You won this. Take it. It was double or quits, right? There's two grand there, friend, cash. Me and you, uh, we're straight now, yeah? <sighs> I checked that pub out, Frank. I swear before God. Those lads that died, it, it wasn't my fault. Thanks for the dough. Say anything. I, I feel sorry for him. He's sick. Yeah. Everyone always feels sorry for Steve. There's excuses for him. This is different. Someone to run this place. Yeah. 
in our own stag. We were gonna, when we found out how much it was worth, we were gonna knock it off. Five grand's a lot of cash. What? It makes you think about freedom. None of us have had too much of that. Not the way the army trains you. Everything's ordered, live by rules and regulations. I don't even know it's happening to you. When you want to leave, it's just, just short lived. You just get pissed, more pissed, loosen you up. I don't know why, I don't, I don't even think why. Five years in Belfast. You wear a red beret, kids spit at you in the street, old women scream at you with hate. Hate. And you can feel it. But you gotta act as if nothing's happening. You see your mates blown apart and you. You wanna give someone that same shit back, you know, but you, you can't, or if you do. <laughs> Players, yeah. call the IRA. Players, like it was some, some sick game. The only game that's been played is on us. Me. I don't fit in any place, love. None of us do. The offer of the job still holds. Thanks. Do you have kids? Yeah. Got two boys. It's time I went home. God bless, love. Through these fields of destruction. Baptism of fire. Come on, what are you doing? I've witnessed your son. Take it, Steve. You're on your own. In every 